everyone, this is Rocco coming at you for another full self driving video. Well, <laughs> that was kind of weird. Enabled a little bit late. So we're not going to count that disengagement, obviously, but um, wow, we're getting a little bit close to the edge right there. As you can see, obviously, <laughs> we're towing a trailer. Um, but uh, it is um, version 12.3.4. I guess everyone keeps on telling me this is um, supervised self driving or supervised, well, FSD supervised now instead of beta. It's still beta, guys. That's how software works. This is not a full release version. It better not be, at least. Uh, this is definitely not, still not good enough to be full release, in my opinion. Until it's driving without me having to pay attention, it's still beta, as far as I'm concerned, based on what I was told. But, that being said, we are doing our um, kind of back road curvy, uh, not not the crazy hill test, which is right here. But um, we're also not gonna take the highway, I'm gonna disengage and go this way. But um, maybe in fact I can uh, see if I can add a waypoint and see if this is gonna work. Because um, we've never actually taken the trailer on this way. Oh yeah, by the way, guess what I'm going to get? Put in the comments down below to see what I'm gonna, gonna get. Um, I probably will just not make a video getting it, but I'll put, I'll put like a video, a little short clip or video or something of it. Maybe some bonus footage at the end of this video, just to show what it is. But I'm um, going down to South Carolina, um, me and my friend Brandon, we're going down there to pick up something. So, put your guesses down below. And so, yeah, we're trying to see, I need to actually pay a little bit closer attention with the trailer behind me, because I haven't used it with version 12 yet. I need to make sure, you know, it's not gonna do any weird braking, and we are accelerating, that type of stuff. But every Every new version, I have to really be careful with the trailer until I, I you know, get an understanding, okay, what was its tendencies? I already know at version 12 that it tends to stay a little bit too far to the right on the road. And unfortunately, it will, um, uh, could go off the road. So we're gonna have to be extra mindful of that with the trailer because that would make things even worse if the car and the trailer went off the road. Uh, the trailer does, uh, does fit in line with the car's profile. The wheels are just ever so slightly wider. Uh, the the fenders on the side are ever so slightly wider than the car, you know, by like six inches or so. So we do have to be mindful that is that the profile of the trailer is slightly wider than the car. So this I hope is useful information for Cybertruck. I don't know if it will be, but just because obviously this is a Model Three and not a Cybertruck. Uh, I do want to mention I didn't record this on this version. Uh, I. When I went up the boon, I really did. I didn't record anything, but I had fabulous drives. Um, not perfect, obviously, but um, I came back from boon to to Hendersonville, got two disengagements, and basically no interventions because because it was speeding. It went 77 mile an hour in a 50 zone that was construction, so that was unacceptable and it went 42 mile an hour and a 30. Kind of like it's doing um, about right here, it's going to a 20 speed limit, and it's still going this. If I see any sign of a police car, I'm, I'm disengaging. We're in a school zone, it is Saturday. So, it needs to go down to at least 25 in this school zone. In fact, it is actually, notice how it's, it, um, that right there, uh, it mimics, I think we're sending training data to adjust the speed profile. So I pressed the accelerator here because that truck was here to make sure I could get through so it wouldn't stop thinking I was gonna wait for the truck. Uh, it's done that before with this blinking yellow for some reason. Okay. Got him, I gotta stop talking here, pay attention to these cars. Make sure the trailer's not gonna get too close. Cause like I said, I've never brought the trailer this direction. Um, what I was, and pay attention to these cyclists too. What the car might do with the trailer behind it is swerve back over too soon, and then I could clip the trailers, uh, the trailers, could clip the cyclist with the trailers, uh, with the trailer. <laughs> God, um, that is something we have to pay attention to. You always have to be mindful of, of the the length of your entire vehicle when you're towing a trailer. Yeah, that got Salute fine. Obviously, it's Saturday, early Saturday morning, so it's um, not uh, not a lot of traffic. 
and still staying a little bit too far to the right on the road. I'm not seeing, feeling any other differences with the car besides that it's staying too far to the right. Well, well I mean, that, that's the same. I'm not seeing any differences with the trailer is what I'm trying to say. Now, what I wanted to say is I took this exact route because there was traffic on the highway. And uh, right before I went up the boon to get into town, and it did a phenomenal job. The, the, cur these curvy mountain roads feel exactly as if I was driving it or someone else was driving it. It is phenomenal. It is doing so well. Now, there's it's maybe 1 or 2% of the mile uh, turns. There are a few issues, but nothing that's like crazy bad. It, it's just substantially bad. It drives like someone from this area now, which I they must have updated the... You know, the, the training data. The only thing it's going to do is because the speed limit is wrong on this road somewhere, it is gonna, it's gonna it's gonna go too fast on this road. It's gonna go up to 55 somewhere in here, and I don't want it to do that. Oh, uh, well, hold up. <laughs> I forgot. No, wait, wait. Is it doing it? No, it's trying to turn around. Let me, uh... uh We could go this way, guys, but that's a gravel road around, a very slow gravel road. I, I, took, I decided to take that one, so I'm like, well, oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> um, so I'm not going to do that. And that would be actually a really good test. But yeah, we're not doing that. But yeah, I forgot about the waypoint I made, so that's why I was trying to turn on the blinker right there. Very close to the side of the road right there. Very close. That, I just don't understand, like, do people drive that way? I guess, I think more timid drivers drive that way. I, I'm not sure. Uh, because it, it's, in this area it can be really dangerous to get that close to the edge because the, the road could crumble and you would fall off the edge of the road. So it's not, it, you should not get to the edge of the road unless you have to because a car's passing you or something like that. That's really important from a safety standpoint that you don't do that. You need to stay in the center of the lane when you're when you're going around the curve. But even around this curve, it's just much improved. It doesn't try to stop at this stop sign here. Like version 12 has fixed so many issues. I'm hoping my um. I'm having a little issue with my four-way connector that the ground doesn't always connect and then my lights don't work. Like, this is just so improved. I, I think that could have been better, still. It could have been still smoother. But that's a very sharp hairpin turn. And compared to past versions, it's phenomenal. So I love that it's just so much improved around curvy roads. Like, I can actually just let it drive and not feel like I need to press the accelerator, like, constantly. Like... I've, I haven't pressed it. The only time I've intervened is that blinking yellow light, I think. Like, the, the fact that I can't remember is it means there's so few interventions that this is this just is so phenomenal. Now, we'll see what 12.4 is going to be. Elon said this is, like, going to be, like, a should be version 13 or something. We'll, we'll see. Um, as long as it gets the speed control improved. If the speed control is improved and it doesn't fall off the side of the road, then it's going to, yeah, that's, that can be version 13 for all I care. That's, um, I'm going to be basically hands-free for most of my drives. We'll see how it does. Yeah, look at that. It's, it went to a dumb speed limit of 25, which is 45 on this road. Uh, it's starting to slow it. Well, is it slowing down because we're getting over? Or is it slowing down because of this? No, it's slowing down because of the 25, which is annoying. It's 45 on this road. But the bright side is we're turning right here. And we should be safe to go. Let's see how much it cuts the corner. And we're good. Look at that. And version 12 just does so much better at unprotected lifts. Is it perfect? No. I've had maybe 5%, I don't know, 
out of every 100, I don't know, five fails, something like that, maybe 10, maybe as much as 10%. Still have issues. What it still doesn't do is merge on the highway. I think that maybe that's what 12.4 is gonna fix. It's, it'll bring it to the highway stack. I hope so. Because that would be awesome. Also, uh, technically these trailer tires are only rated for 65, I think. So, I'm not gonna go above 65 in this video or anytime when I'm towing a trailer. Especially if I have a load on it, I'm not going above 65. Uh, I will probably do an, if you guys are interested, eventually I'll probably do an efficiency test. It's just, I don't know, actually, well, yeah, what is the efficiency test? We got, um, 316 watt hours per mile. Which actually is not, like, that's not much higher than what it would be, um, without the trailer. Wait, was that it? I think the guy. Okay, um, this is the end of end of the video. But um, the car ran. The, that was a stop sign, and the stop sign was bent, and I didn't realize it. And the car just ran the stop sign. Now that was I. I, I believe I'm not certain, but you got to uh, check. I think the car ran the stop sign back there because it was bent, and you couldn't see the stop sign. So I sent that and I sent a snapshot, but um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I need, a, I, I haven't been this route in quite a while, so I'm not sure if that's what happened or not. Um, I have to review the video. Um, yeah, guys, I, this obviously was zero disengagements, <laughs> um, one intervention, best it's ever been. First time I've ever done it with a trailer. Did great going around the curvy roads. I'm super happy. Um, if we'll see if I don't see you in the rest of the video, well. Thanks for watching and look for the next little clip after this. Thanks everyone. Bye. Did a thing. Yeah, something else we can put underneath this part. What part? Oh, yeah, so it doesn't scrape. Yeah, I'll put something yeah. on there. Sick. I guess we could have did